Nana. Hey. Hi, baby. <laughs> Nana. She just hears her name and she smiles. <laughs> you got good form. That, that back leg kick. <laughs> <laughs> Good rising. Welcome back to another episode of Ahava Life Fan Build. For those of you that don't know, Ahava in Hebrew means love. So, love life, Ahava life, you get it. Well, I hope you enjoyed last week's episode where we painted Green Machine behind us. Today, I'm tackling the Max Air fans. We have two Max Air fans going in this van. It's a mess in here right now, but we got our Max Air fans right there. Ba boom. Alright guys, once you have all your materials loaded up onto the roof, then we're gonna get up on the roof. First time I did this, I was in the parking lot of Home Depot on our van. Now I'm in a nice driveway, but I'm not sure that's going to make it easier. Let's check it out. These pieces are for the trim on the inside, you don't need those right away. This ring is probably the most important part. You just take that off. That's what you're gonna be working with the first step. The actual fan sits into that ring. Put that aside for now. This van, 2006 Winter van, I'm sure the other ones have ribs at the top. So when installing this fan, you have to work around the rib. So what I did, I drilled a small hole right here on the inside of the van after measuring dead center. So that way I can cut around this circle and inside the ribs so that way, we have a flat surface to put our fan on so there are, are no leaks. Now we're doing two fans in this build. So the second one's a little harder. So I'll show you. The fan that goes toward the rear, you would think we put it in the same circular position. 
here as we're doing up front, but we can't because the rib of the van, the, the joist, the support beam the, of the van sits right here. And we can't cut through that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the next flattest area. It's gonna sit on this small elevator part. We're gonna cut this middle out. It's gonna sit between here and here. And we're gonna do our best to make sure the fan is level by using butyl tape. And yeah, let's get to it. So like I said, I already cut my whole dead center. So I'm measuring seven inches in each direction from that hole. Give us a total of 14 by 14 hole, which is what we're looking for. So we got it measured out and we are looking gorgeous. 14 inches this way and 14 inches this way exactly. So we're gonna get ready to cut. Here we go. So boom, we got the hole cut. Use the grinder with a metal cutoff wheel. Next step, basically we're taking this and making sure it fits the way we want it to. So there it is, lays nice and flat. And we have enough space to put our screws in, so that's perfect, it's just what we want. It's actually gonna go this way, I believe. So now, I'm gonna take a metal filer and file it on the edges. here to hold a piece of wood and I'm gonna frame out the window from the inside not 100% necessary but I want to do it for structural purposes and uh, just to give me something to attach some parts of my ceiling to right now just gotta find find the hole and get into that wood 
So now, I'm just gonna have to keep going back into the van. And clamping the pieces of wood up and drilling through the metal into the wood. We got all our screws in all the way around. And now, we're gonna cuff the screw holes and then cuff all around it. And then, we'll put the fan in. All sealed up. Most of the time, this isn't the prettiest. There's more functionality. This is gonna be covered by the deck. Now it's time to drop in the uh, the fan. All right, guys. Here's the fun part. Time to test fit the fan. Make sure everything lines up. So. After you test fit the fan, you want to go inside the van and turn the knob to open the fan all the way. This will allow access to the four security screws, two on each side. So once those are lined up, you want to pop both of those in and that secures your fan to the bracket. And number one thing, make sure your fan is rear facing so it doesn't fly open. So after that, I'm gonna wait for the sealant to dry, the caulk to dry, and we're gonna test it for leaks. And I really, really hope that there are none. But while that dries, I'm gonna go get a little, uh, little lunch, break time. All right, squad, still waiting on the front one to dry. Sorry about the lawnmower in the background, but I'm about to get started. Same process on the second one. Yeah, let's go.
back outside to see what Christian's doing. He's actually talking to the camera while I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> Nana just woke up from her nap. How do you feel? Rejuvenated? Now we're going to come back out here and try to help Christian as much as possible. Even though it's a lot harder. Because... Gotta watch Nana. But he's doing a good job, so... Let's just see what's going on here. What you up to? Still finished, doing the fans? I just finished the second one. You finished? Yeah. That's a lot faster than what, what happened on ours. On the red van, we uh, we did the fans in a Home Depot parking lot while we were traveling. And it took us more time to do one than it took Christian this time to do two. <laughs> Let's see if it works, man. So we're testing the fans using a 12 volt power source from our van since our solar system is currently up and running and the one in this van is not quite running yet. This is going to be an uh, interesting test, to say the least. Look, 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 check it out. Close, you're going to see that knob move, watch. Uh, I think we broke ours, so ours doesn't do that. Maybe we gotta get it fixed. Max fan, if you watch this video, we need help. Ours broke. We gotta do it manually. Hook a brother up. On. This is great.